Hi guys, I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know that we're going to the Aircraft Museum. And, um, the guide didn't really guide us, so we don't know what the planes were. I videoed a lot of the paper saying what they were and where they came from and stuff, but we really didn't get a guided tour like we wanted, so... Forgive me for that, but I did capture what I could, and yeah, this is the Aircraft Museum in Pueblo, Colorado. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I like how it says, warning, do not enter, and there's a gate open. This is predominantly B-24 base. They would throw the crews in the B-24s, train them, and then east or west, you know, Pacific, you know, the wow. theater or the European theater, and they went from there. That's when they did that. Now the tarmac, the, the runways, are still intact, are still the exact runways. They built them so well. They've extended the north and south one. They extended it to, for larger aircraft, mm -hmm. but the base runway is still here. And then oh, the, the yeah. tower, is still there, but they've moved it like over to here, and then of course modernized it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not wooden scaffold in that. Now, and then B-29 is the, the peachy is our you know queen of the deal here. Of the, um, and now you see it goes literally the length of this building. And so he's got a big helicopter that it actually helped rescue Alan Shepard. Oh wow! And it's got the right up there. Uh -huh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, most, I guess, most people head this way. That's the thing, like I say, my military experience was driving one of these for a short time. Oh, yeah. When I lost my electronic slot to go overseas, and I spent uh, three months before I got shipped overseas, and your your slots were all, like, protected with the job. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we had excess guys there. And so, as soon as I was going overseas, oh, you're not part of us no more, you're part of Major grabbed me to drive to the base down in Fort Stewart. It actually was fun. Mm -hmm. All I did was drive the Jeep and then change his Jeep for three months. Oh, heck yeah. 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 Oh, I just saw it. They had the electronic emancipation project. They had the problem with the bombs for the free and escape slaves to fight in the Union Army and Navy. Their brave veterans helped the Union Navy stay with the Union Navy and gave them for African Americans. Be very careful. There's almost like a submarine, or like a ship. You can see the door on the other end, but that's where they would close and pressurize it. It'd be just like a like a bulkhead door. Oh wow! On a navy ship. And this is the standard entry way that they'd have to get in. I think you were there was up through here because I know uh, one old boy was out there talking today, and he uh, was saying his somebody was flying one of these and uh, they started to take off and, and you know, one of the navigators was still in the wrong way door and they were oh, shooting down and he did climb up there. <laughs> oh, so, okay. uh, Sail the control cable yeah, and stuff. I had paid attention to how they would actually get into here. There's some running down both sides of it. 
They will sometimes have two crews. Brandon. Because they fly for a certain amount of time. Oh, wow. And they can only fly like eight to ten hours. And so they'd have two crews. And one would be sleeping while the other. That's cool. You can see kind of the big door there, how they close it. Yeah. It's like there's three separate doors going through there, three separate bulkheads. Yeah. The one at the ends where the gunner was at, yeah. the tail gunner? Yeah. With the new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the light on one. Exactly. <laughs> What were these switches for? Oh, they do have no steps. Oh, they do, yeah. What is it? What is it? It's the engine. It's part of the engine. These are the cylinder heads, they sit on top right there, and the pistons go through and they drive the crank and turn the whole thing around. And you know how you can see there, like, There's just cylinder heads down there, no pistons in them. And there's pistons in the bottom one and those top ones. Huh. And what would happen is you'd have your internal combustion inside the cylinder head, which would push the pistons down and turn that crank between all the gears and stuff like that, that would turn the propeller and you'd have a whole lot more RPM on the propeller than you would the actual crankshaft. Huh. Mm -hmm. make that Japanese bike pull in your head. It's probably a mouse. Yeah, this is real stuff from World War II. World War II. They took some of the Japanese flags and they they confiscated them and put their names on them. I'm sure they probably took that off of a dead Japanese soldier with that, that sword. Mom, I'm just like, I don't think they had written like a lot of Look at her eyes. They used to cry on. Cool. Yeah, I was wondering to leave so you could explain to me what the heck this stuff was. What the what? I was wanting him to leave us alone so you would explain to me what this stuff was. Oh. <laughs> Look at their little camera. Can you guys imagine vlogging on that? Your camera is pretty more like camera. I'd almost bet the, the majority of this stuff right here was confiscated by U.S. soldiers from German. <laughs> dead Germans like that hat, those helmets, all those medals, they were probably taken off of old German shoulders, soldiers that they killed in the war. Those patches were probably cut off of their uniforms. The world came together. That's sad. That's, that's war. The world that's life. It's a quick cool we didn't know in the beginning a lot of the things that S.A. Stormtrooper death day. But we knew enough to know that, that Hitler had to be stopped. Mm -hmm. That is cool. And so Americans did what Americans do. You go to war and everybody pitches in and works together. And then, by gosh, you take things home with you to remember and to tell people, this is what happens here. And we don't want it to ever happen. I wonder if one person put all these little models together. Mm -hmm. If you're a model maker, that'd be a blast. Yeah. <coughs> That's crazy. That's like a big old cannon. Oh, look, there's that girl he was talking about, Peachy. Huh. Brandon and Mackenzie, go stand right there so I can take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> go stand by Peachy. Who's Peachy? The half naked girl on the plate. <laughs> okay. No, it's not either. There's guys, other guys taking a picture with her. Oh, hold on. Did you be able to 
No. Oh, well. Hmm. Huh. So you could, you could adjust your air-fuel mixture ratio. You had your throttle, which was up and down, but then you adjusted your mixture, which I suppose you would have to because the higher you get up in the atmosphere, the thinner the air is, so you would have to adjust your mixture so that your, your engine's turning the right. That's crazy. I'm not. Oh. Wow, it's not aluminum or metal no, or whatever. It's got a skin on it. Huh. And I bet it's probably. Maybe it's wooden on the inside. Do you know where it's at? Yeah. Okay, don't run. Duck your head. Keep on working. That is freaking cool. What's that? It's an old radio, I think. Yeah, it's an old airplane radio receiving set type, SCR-59. Hmm. Oh, I are bet that's the progression fuses? of... No, those are tubes for, like, your radio and stuff. That's, pro that's the progression oh. of what they started off with, and then they went down to computer chips, and that's what they kind of what they are now. Huh. And I almost bet that computer chip right there probably does as much as a whole huge room of those would be able to do. Huh. Oh, look. Is that a decoder? No, it's Morse code thing. See, that's oh. Morse code. Dot, dot slash, which is like a, I think, I think this is one too. Maybe that's a slash, dot, slash. Huh. U.S. Army Air Force World War II target parts of German and Japanese civil weapons. Used for training by anti-aircraft batteries. This kite also includes the recovery reel. So they would sh practice shooting at that. Huh. And that's the recovery reel that they would. Oh, I see. That's that string right there. And you thought kites were, oh look there's a picture of what they were doing. You thought those kites were just for fun. That's crazy. Isn't that funny because you look at the emblems on the wings, they almost look like, like crosshairs. <laughs> or bullseyes. The Japanese ones look like uh -huh. bullseyes and the German ones it's like crosshairs. There's a VA. So it's underneath that plane right there with the bicycle wheels on it. <coughs> That's funny. Yeah, they had kids in the German army. Really? They'd recruit kids, give them guns, and have them. His hand just fell off. And I think the only reason why they did that is so that um, to get more people, and also they knew that it would mess up American soldiers psychologically because they're killing kids. Huh. Oh look, it's a little. This is like a bike for little kids. It has pedals on it. It's a short person plane. Cool. It's an old pedal car. Oh, AT, AT6 Texan pedal car. This place is making me cry. <laughs> I thought you were serious. Like, what's that <laughs> Look, that guy's even laughing at you. <laughs> Gary. He's gonna grab you. He just winked at you. Hi. I'm a mannequin. Did you just 
pause challenge. I don't even have a remote. <laughs> that guy just moved. It really does look like he's moving. That would be cool if they, it does, what am I, am I seeing something like your sh shadow or something? That's funny. Really? Like this is one of the it's like a dolphin. Oh, it is not. Your face is like a dolphin. That's where the gas was. I think there was a fuel sludge over here, like and there's a fuel sludge over there. Those hmm. little, these little things are the fuel tanks. That's where you fill them up at. Really? And this most whole your, thing gets um, filled up? Well, I, I think so. I think most of your airplanes, the wings is where you keep the fuel. Huh. That person's been waiting there a long time. See, this one's got... Hmm. I skin over the wings, too. That's what happens if you go into the restricted area. So don't go into the restricted area. Don't go into the restricted area. <sighs> you guys could read about these. 1941 J3C65. Does that say Hyper Cub? Mm -hmm, that's what they called, that's what they nicknamed it, it was the Piper Cup. Oh, let me see. Come stand by the bomb. You what? Brandon, come stand by the bomb. I'd like to have one of those, those are freaking cool. I don't want to go. I don't know. Yeah, he left. Yeah. I'm getting confused holding two different things. <laughs> I forgot I was recording with my camera. And... Oh, this is an F4 simulator trainer. Uh huh. I see. There's a whole oh, other section. It's got a computer screen or a screen in the front so that you can watch TV as you're flying. Huh. <laughs> Watch out so I can take a picture of death. That's that opens. Am I, am I sitting in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mom, that big thing opens. Huh. They did that oh, for us on our trip. Oh, really? They open the hangar doors? Yeah. Well, that's how they get the airplanes in and out. You two go. St Ow, freak. That hurt my back. Go oh, stand no. by that. Then you're going to get video of you crying because you're being pulled. Maybe I don't want to lease it. Oh, wow. What are you? He's just like sitting on the hard surface floor. Oh, really? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I guarantee there's not much of a suspension on this thing at all. Yeah. Where are the guns? Where are the what? Guns. Um, maybe it's a troop guns. transport. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're snowsuits. That's their feet. Dad, look at that this. That does not look very warm. This is their feet. Mm -hmm. I've got some of those. They're a little smaller, though. That's cool. 
This is like <sighs> so thin. These are stationaries. Wish they had chairs in here and sit down. They do. <laughs> they do. There's two. They're of everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I told you to come sit down. I'm going to watch. Yeah, I'm going to go take a break. My back is killing me. You guys, she is having so much problems with her teeth. She has one loose on the bottom, and then they put a silver thing on her top tooth, and she's growing a tooth in that. And they said it wasn't going to go for another year, and it just started, and it just started like a month after. Not even. There's, the there's one inside. Oh. And it's just, <laughs> that's weird. That's cool. That's cool. I wonder if it shows up on the camera since it's a hologram. Look if it shows up as a hologram. Uh, I don't know. You can't see if you like. <laughs> huh. Was it really used? Yeah, I guess so. See, whenever those things touch down, I see them smoke all crazy, and I wouldn't think that there'd be anything left. They're actually, they're too close. What? I think there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. Get in on the other side. Oh, we can? Mm-hmm. Oh. a rescue thing. Let me give you guys some light so I'll you can just, see in here. I wonder if that was in this. Oh, look, it's a refiner. <laughs> That's a fuel tank. That's not a bomb. Uh-oh. It's a fuel tank. But I think they could retrofit them to where they could take a bomb right there on the wings like that. There are more things. <coughs> That's cool. You can see all the, almost all the planes out here. I bet you there's a second base. Oh, you can see them now. And there's stairs. What are you talking about? The okay, the hold on. No, we came in that door. Came off because the seats are backwards. Oh. What is this little area? Communication area, probably. Because there's the radio. Huh. Communication and navigation, maybe. So they communicated where they were supposed to go, plotted it out, and forwarded it onto the cockpit. And that's where they changed their heading and stuff. Mackenzie. 
That's freaking cool. Look at those instrumentations up there. Holy moly. Just the flaps. What? <laughs> a lot of this stuff looks like it's labeled. But good grief, it'd take me forever to figure out what you would, because I'd have to read all the labels on mm. everything. I'm gonna go out the other side to take a look at the planes. Oh. It's the Coast Guard. I think those windows popped out for an emergency exit. Huh. What is it? Guns go. Like one of the guns shoot out. Huh. Ejection seat, what is that? That's where when you pull a lever, the cockpit door flies open and the seat flies out. Rockets oh, if there. there's gonna be a, f if it's gonna wreck or something, or what? Yeah, like if they're gonna crash or something oh. like that, they'll pull the ejection seat and it shoots out. You can probably see it in this one better. This one, they fold the wings up so that they fit, they can fit more of them on a naval ship, on an aircraft carrier. Control radar provides aiming and stuff like that for automatic rockets, and it went in the nose of this. Wow. I don't know if you can see, they took the engine out. You can see the intake all the way out through the exhaust. Huh. See, I think this one here, you pulled that for the ejection seat, maybe. And what it'd do is it'd blow, I think there was a lever down here that you pulled, probably that yellow one on the side. You pulled that lever and it blew the cockpit door open. And then you can pull the ejection seat and it would. I'm getting dizzy up here. Ooh, stop. Does that help? How about now? I hope I... Mom's like me. Oh, God. I, when I step down there, I shoot the plane. How the heck did they get these in here without hitting anything? Probably probably the man. It'd be funny if it was still alive and somebody accidentally pulled the proper levers and went. Can I try it? Yeah. You, probably, you probably hit the ceiling. Probably. Quit, Mackenzie. Can I try it with No. Do not touch. Do not sit on me. It's not live because it's hard. Yeah, I, I bet we can get Kilo. Oh, there's a butt into the. where the engine goes. I wonder if that's the engine for it. Hmm. to restrict the exhaust out so that you can get more speed or whatever. Look at those bomb heads. Oh, hey. I don't feel very safe. I don't feel very safe. Oh, that's cool. There's a monkey. Look, there's a cabbage patch doll. That's cute. I wonder if that's...
That is kind of that is kind of funny. Well, didn't they used to send man monkeys up in space? Mm-hmm. <coughs> they were saying that all this NASA stuff is... Maybe that stuff over there belongs to one guy. I guess he kept bugging and bugging and bugging about trying to get a hold of NASA and get some stuff, and he ended up collecting all this. This is funny. There's a trash can. This is a trash can. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oops. Look at me. I'm going to have to change my battery. Or I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just Oh, that's cool. Let it go. Monday, January 21st, 1961. Men walk on the moon. Hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, before you guys go, I want to let you guys know that my family is going to be on TV tomorrow on Oxygen. If you guys don't have it then please look it up on YouTube like the next day or something because my aunt and uncle in 1991 were um killed both of them and their murder has went unsolved all these years and the cold case I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you Johnny Eden Curley was shot dead in the local VFW hall. No reason to kill those people for a simple robbery. There's only one reason to kill those people, so they can't say who did it. There's not a date that I don't think about them. And That's my cousin. Justice is served. If this doesn't get you fired up to solve a case, nothing can. Cold Justice, new Saturdays at 6, 5 Central, on Oxford. Okay, guys. I was 10 years old when this happened, and that day that it happened me and my niece tiffany begged them to stay home from work if you guys want to hear my side of the story and what i remember um thumbs up this video and i'll let you guys know but do me a favor and please 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 go watch this show and share it and just get it out there and maybe something will come about and they will get justice because they didn't deserve to die sorry to end a good video with a sad note but it's tomorrow and I just please go watch it I, I would appreciate it very very much Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Don't forget to smile and make someone else smile. Love you guys.